Good morning. Those darn squirrels. It's okay. I just put it back in, but I'm going to have to put something in there so they just leave it alone. Don't dig in my flower bed, my little planter. And actually, I'm needing your help because I need to identify the one plant that they dug out. I'll, I'll put a picture here on the screen, and then if you can tell me what it is, I keep getting conflicting information from my plant app, and I need that information ASAP. This morning, I've been busy doing a couple of things. I am captaining, captaining two tennis teams again this summer, so I need to put a spreadsheet together, put everyone's names and get that sent out. And then ABC News out of Winston-Salem contacted me and asked me if I could do a little segment again for their triad trending, and they want it on the planter that I just shared on Monday. And I'm needing help identifying that plant. I, I want to make sure I <laughs> call it the right thing. But I just, I, I cannot find it anywhere. And you know what? Like a dumb dumb, I threw the receipt away. That's me. That is, that's, that's me. I'm actually looking at my Lowe's account and it, they call it a multicolored, multicolored geranium. Yeah, that's for that along with the regular geranium. So I don't think that is correct. If you can help me, I would appreciate it. I don't know if you remembered that I planted a planter out here and I said it looked a little sparse and I stole the idea from Lowe's, but I wanted to share it with you because it's filling in very nicely and it's only been a couple of weeks. Let me pull the first picture, put it, and then I'll show you what it looks like now. And this is what it looks like today. It's only been about three weeks, I would say. And it is filling in so nicely. I always get worried when I use smaller plants, but they're, they're happy. And these guys are happy here too. Oh, I got to pluck this one. Thank you so much for your help naming that plant. I searched and searched and I could not find it. And it is called a Vancouver Centennial. So I got that changed in my little video that I sent to ABC News. And that will be airing tomorrow. If they send it to me, I will share it in stories. Today here at the Blended Nest, I am going to be working on the chandelier in the kitchen. Because I lost some crystals, I had to order some. And I actually ordered more because I wanted to tweak the chandelier. Rob said, oh, it looks good the way it is. And I said, I no. Like my sister says, I had to give it a little extra. I wanted it extra. I wanted a wow factor when you walk in. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So I am going to be sharing how I'm creating that look tonight in a reel and I'm excited to do it because I did I did a little bit and I was like that's what the extra is. I'm also hoping to get back out and work on the door. I haven't been able to do that because it's been pouring 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 rain. I I need a rain gauge. I want to see how much it rains when it rains. I'm putting that on my list. <laughs> Where did that go? On a serious sales note, if you are a Tarte makeup person, I just saw that they have a sale. I had to look. I wanted to make sure I got it right. You can customize a kit. You get seven pieces, full size, free shipping for I'm not a tart person, but I might have to look into this because that this is a great way of trying 
their makeup if you've always wanted to. I'm going to put the link here just in case you want to check it out because actually the value is $232 and you're going to get it for $69 with free shipping, full sizes. Here you go. I thought I would give you a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. So I don't know if I can do this with just two hands or hold on. See how these stop here? I used every single crystal I had and I don't like the way it stops there. So I'm going to add some to drape it. And let me tell you, it gives it so much extra. And if you hear banging in the background, it is just bug eating his dinner. Are you finished? Oh, was that a was that a burp? Do you still have your headband? <laughs>